While I was on vacation in Yukon during July of 2023, I encountered a prominent white volcanic ash layer throughout much of the territory. For example, in Whitehorse, this rhyolitic and pumice-rich ash layer was 2 centimeters thick, being buried only a few centimeters below the top of the ground. This ash was deposited in one of North America's largest explosive eruptions of the Holocene era, triggering the migrations of hundreds of thousands of native peoples. This eruption originated 372 kilometers west-northwest from where I am standing at the impressive 15,636-foot-high Mount Churchill. At its summit, there is a 3,140-meter long and 2,200-meter-wide caldera which formed in two powerful VEI-6 explosive eruptions during the same millennia. The first 25 cubic kilometer eruption in 245 CE caused a thick layer of ash to fall on a 29,000 square mile area to the north, while the 50 cubic kilometer 847 CE eruption caused ash to fall over a 223,000 square mile area to the east. 